המסע שלנו בעקבות היחסים הסודיים בין ישראל למדינות המפרץ מביא אותנו לקראת סיום דווקא ללונדון, כדי לפגוש את אחת הדמויות המרתקות במערכת הקשרים המסועפת הזו. Your Royal Highness, Prince Turkey Al-Faisal, thank you for giving us this interview. Well, thank you very much for having me and uh, look forward to our interview. You were the head of uh, Saudi intelligence and the ambassador in Washington. Did you meet uh, Israelis in your official capacity? Not at all. The purpose, of course, for not meeting is that Israel has not been very cooperative as far as achieving peace in, in, in our part of, uh, of the world. The only... Then, official person that I engaged with uh, directly was Shimon Peres. I remember meeting him at Davos and we were at a uh, dinner table. He was sitting across the dinner table. He said to me, uh, you know, with his gravelly voice and so on, uh, Prince Dorke, why don't we meet? He said, uh, we can meet in a secret place and so on. I told him, Mr. President, uh, nothing in Israel remains a secret. <laughs> you just came from uh, Riyadh, uh, and I was wondering, did you tell anybody in, in the government, in Riyadh, in the, to the king or to the crown prince or anybody else that you're giving an interview to, uh, to Channel 13, an Israeli television channel? <laughs> I never leave home without saying something about what I'm going to do. But, but it's not because I'm official, it's because of, you know, Uh, courtesy and, uh, and, uh, good manners. הנסיך טורקי באמת מנומס, הוא לא מספר שכמה ימים לפני הריאיון הוא פגש את המלך סלמן בריאד. בכל מקרה, הוא לא חושש לדבר. I think what I'm doing is the right thing to do. Wow. And it is for them, I told you, because we have to get our point across to, directly to the Israeli people. And your channel, I understand, is one of the foremost Uh, media outlets that are watched and uh, respected by Israeli public opinion. מה שהיה ברור מהרגע הראשון הוא שהנסיך טורקי הגיע מריאד מצויד בדף המסרים הרשמי שאותו בית המלוכה הסעודי רוצה שהישראלים ישמעו בימים אלה. The, uh, the kingdom's uh, outlook on peace in, in the Middle East definitely takes into account what Israel says and Israel does. So I would go as far as 2002. The late King Abdullah, when he was crown prince, presented his peace plan. Basically, it's a quid pro quo. Um, Israel withdraws from occupied Arab territories um, in return for uh, Arab recognition of Israel, end of hostilities and normal relations. From uh, day one, there has not been an Israeli response. With Israeli money and, and Saudi brains, we can go far. Uh, and I think, uh, yes, uh, if there is peace. Uh, but unfortunately, Israel chooses to ignore all the efforts of Saudi Arabia to make peace and expect Saudi Arabia to put its hand in its hand and go forward on technology, on water desalination, on, on issues like that. It's not going to happen. כמו שהראינו בתחקיר עד כה, בין ישראל לסעודיה יש מערכת יחסים חשאית רבת שנים, אבל טורקי אל-פייסל דבק בקו הרשמי. There's a sense that the crown prince Mohammed bin Salman is more open to warming up relations with Israel than other Saudi leaders in the past. Is this true? Not as far as I can see. He is uh, a stalwart representative of Saudi policy. And I think that is more wishful thinking on the part of Israeli officials, if you like. But you know, there's a sense that the Crown Prince tried to go on a sort of a different policy on Israel-Palestine uh, and that King Salman basically gave him a red light and brought back Saudi Arabia to a more traditional policy. That's for you to interpret. For me, I, I see Prince Mohammed's consistency in the fact that he supports the Palestinian cause to the fullest. There is no difference between Prince Mohammed and King Salman on any issue. And he does what the king tells him. So you think that the Israeli government is not telling the truth when it says that it's warming relations with Gulf states and Saudi Arabia, even though there's still stalemate with the Palestinians? Israeli public opinion should not be deceived 
into believing that the Palestinian issue is a dead issue. I think from the Israeli point of view, Mr. Netanyahu would like us to have a relationship and then we can fix the Palestinian issue. From the Saudi point of view, it's the other way around. So uh, you're saying that Prime Minister Netanyahu is deceiving the Israeli public when he says that he can promote relations with the Arab world regardless of the Palestinians? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why do you think he's doing it? For his own purposes. <laughs> he's a man who runs for election on, on, on platforms of, look what I have done for you, I have brought you this, I have brought you that, I have, like all politicians. How do people in Saudi Arabia see, for example, Prime Minister Netanyahu? I think they have a very negative view of Mr. Netanyahu because of what is happening on the ground. And the hubritic attitude that he has מול הביקורת הזאת על נתניהו וישראל, לנשיא חשוב להבהיר. I don't think I'm going to see that, not before the Palestinian issue is, is resolved. החלום שלו הוא להתפלל במסגד אל-אקצא. You've never been to, to Israel, right, or to Palestine? No. I look forward to the day when there is peace between uh, Israel and the Arab world, and I can visit what I consider to be not only a holy place, but a place of, of my history as an Arab and as a Muslim. Abraham, uh, our father, He's not only the father of, of the Jews, he's the father of the Arabs. Uh, Jerusalem is something I want to see before I, I die. And unfortunately, I'm, I'm not too optimistic that I'm going to see that. Um, How is your Arabic? I used to speak Arabic much better. Yeah, uh, what happened? I believe that's a new word, but I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I And you live where? In, uh, in Tel Aviv. I hope you'll be able to uh, also to visit someday. I hope so, you can host me. Yes, I would love to. Uh, an evangelical pastor, a very good friend, visits Israel all the time. And he sent me a picture of a street sign that says, Shari al-Malik Faisal, so in Jerusalem. And uh, that's one of the places I will visit immediately when I go there, yeah. if I go there.